Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're looking at the ECM WF Footage Today slash six week uh, model for today's second video. This is your U UK and Ireland Footage Today uh, focused uh, forecast, and I should get over that for you in a moment. Just say that first video today was a six day UK world forecast. We've got weekend forecast and the 14 day with all other rate features on the way today as well so please like share and subscribe on all today's videos and content and thank you so much everyone for uh, doing that for gals worthy thank you so much everyone thank you so much okay thanks so much to ecmdf.int by the way for supplying the charts with data thanks so much ec all right let's start off with week one mean sea level pressure anomaly taking us through next week the fourth through to the 11th of november High and dry <laughs> next week. High pressure dominating the weather across most parts of the Europe, the UK, Ireland, including that. 500 millibar height anomaly is uh, looking like this. If I get highlights, uh, there we go. Um, so above average height through many parts of northern, central, and also western Europe as well. High and dry. Temperature anomaly next week looking really mild, uh, significantly above average by three six degrees so a very very mild start to uh, november there and it's also a drier than average week as well so mild dry start to november right week two will be the 11th to the 18th of november so uh, we go flatter and westerly then the high pressure uh, starts to slip more towards the south or low pressure develops to the north and we begin we begin to push the jet stream through something like that the 500 millibar height anomaly for week two looking like this below average heights to the north and above average heights to the south winds coming in from a westerly direction Temperature anomalies will still be mild, not quite as warm as like week one, but still uh, above average by one to three degrees. And precipitation anomalies. Um, so it's like a bit wetter to the north, a little bit wetter to the north, and a little bit drier to the south in uh, the second week. Week three will be the 18th, 25th of November. Oh, the ridge comes back again. Uh, so this could be shaped up to be exceptionally uh, dry and also mild November. Goodness gracious me. High pressure building back up from the Azores. Jet stream going back up there again. 500 millibar heights. <coughs> oh, sorry everyone. Looking like that with above average heights through many parts of uh, West Europe. Below average heights way to the north. And jet stream is up there somewhere. Oh, oh. Up there, it's up there. Um, <laughs> temperature anomalies are still above average. Blimey, what a warm November this is going to be. Um, by about one to three degrees yet again. And uh, precipitation looking like that. So wetter than average again to the north and drier than average down to south. All right, week four. We're going with gas now. Week four is the 25th November 2nd to 7th. Let's have a look. Oh, we say westerly. Oh, blimey. So, low pressure again to the north. High pressure is to the south. The wind's still coming in from that uh, west direction. Flat as a pancake. It's flat as a pancake there. Um, 500 millibar heights. Looking like that with above average heights again through the Atlantic into western parts of Europe. What about the temperature anomaly? Do -do -do! That remains above average as well, rounding off what could be one of the warmest Novembers on record, I would have thought, if that comes up. And rainfall-wise, not much of a signal with four weeks out, so signals are weakening. But uh, nevertheless, hang on, we want to go here. Uh, don't wait for yeah. So, um, so uh, rainfall-wise, we look wet and average up to north and drive an average down to the south again. Okay, well, week five going to be second type of seven. This is it. Still with high pressure uh, in from the Atlantic, but maybe start to get slightly more of a west northwesterly alignment to things. But still, basically, the fundamental issue is high pressure uh, to the south and to the southwest, keeping the wind from a mild direction. 500 millibar heights looking like that. Um, what a brutal update this is for cold. It's brutal. Brutal for cold it is. And the temperature on these are a little bit above average, not. A particularly big deviation, though. 
and uh, precipitation wise, so wetter than average up here, but a very weak signal. Right, lastly, week six will be the 9th to 16th of December. Here we go. The high pressure continuing to uh, slip away from us, maybe. Could there be a trough developing through here? If there was, we'll start to bring in some cooler air from the uh, northwest. We start to think about a cool down. 500 millibar heights again with the ridge in the Atlantic. If there's a trough through here, we might start to get a northwest southeast alive to wind flow and a jet stream. Temperature line is still slightly above average, but started to cool a little bit. Air precipitation anomaly is totally more unsettled. But you notice a lot of the precipitation is to our east in climate. There could be a trough through here. If there is, then again, we could bring the wind in from the northwest and finally start to feel a little bit more seasonal. Seasonable, seasonal. Uh, anyway, that's it. So, uh, it looks like we're in for exceptionally mild uh, November there, if that's right. And also a lot of dry weather too. Uh, so, uh, well, not much more to say other than that. Winter's going to be, well, I won't say winter's going to be delayed because that's for November. And November isn't actually a winter month. Um, anyway, so we'll see how it all works out. Just a snapshot. What model is showing? We'll look at this again on Tuesday. Uh, well, Tuesday or Wednesday uh, with the European uh, focus, you know, six week forecast. And then again next Saturday for the UK and Ireland focus video. If you enjoyed the forecast, please like, share, and subscribe. And we're going to be back with weekend forecast 8 10 to 14 there very, very soon. For this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.